my night owls. Uh, let's see. Today's video is going to be about virginity. Um, I am 23 and still a virgin. Yep. I'm not ashamed about it. I'm not. I'm not ashamed I haven't had sex yet. A lot of people, they hit a certain age and they're like, oh, gotta get rid of my virginity. And so they end up going off and having sex uh, with the person that they are with or, um, yeah, pretty much with the person that they're with. If they're dating someone at the time, they're like, oh, gotta lose my virginity and go out and have sex with their significant other. But the thing is, the reason why I haven't lost my virginity is because I'm saving it for someone special. Um, people they, nowadays don't wait to have sex. They hit a certain age, they start going through the hormonal process, and <clears throat> they give in to their hormonal stuff and have sex. And, like, you don't, like, some people they don't sit down and think about it. Like, they just, like, oh, I'm horny, I just want to have sex. <laughs> and this is a topic that I'm not normally good at talking with, talking about. Um, so, uh, it's almost like a little, ah. Uh, anyways, so, I shouldn't be like, ah, because I have had sexual, ex like, not a sexual experience. Like, I haven't had sex. Like, I did do some sexual stuff. Um, when I was with one of my boyfriends, um, his name was Alan, he's the guy that I regret ever dating, um, I had mentioned him in the video, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, we were hanging out, and of course things led to one thing and another, and he wanted to have sex, and I was like, no, 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 cause I didn't, like, I felt like yeah, he could probably be the one. Maybe I should give my virginity to him. But luckily, I didn't give him my virginity because he ended up not being that person that I want to give it to. See, I actually sat down and thought of it, I thought about it, and thought, you know what, I'm not going to give my virginity to any guy that I date throughout my life until I find that one guy that's like, oh, hey, want to get married? And then I will give it to him. Um, I actually thought about giving my, um, keeping my virginity until I was married because my religion kind of had to deal with it because my religion is you can't have sex until you're married, but most of my family members, they all had sex before they were married and they got pregnant before they were married and had children and I wanted to be different than my family because every time I turn around someone got pregnant and I'm like oh and they're not married and I'm like I want to be different I want to actually be married and then get pregnant and have kids and stuff like that and then but lately I have been thinking about it and I'm like Maybe I should just give my virginity up and not wait around for the right guy. I should just give it, get it done over with. What happens if I never meet that guy that I'm meant to be with? And then, but what happens if I do meet that guy that I'm meant to be with? And then I gave my virginity to somebody else and then I'll feel totally guilty and I'm like torn in between it. Some people don't think about that. They don't sit down and think about it. They just like, oh, eh, it's just a thing. Let's just get rid of it. Um, and some people actually do stop and think of that and be like, well, do I want to give my virginity to this guy? Is do I do I know if he really is the person I'm meant to be with? You know, they actually sit and think about it. And I'm one of those people. I sat down and I thought about it. And I'm like, this is my virginity. I'm opening myself up to a person. I am pretty much laying myself bare to a person and I'm going to give myself to them. I'm like, do I really want to just give it to anyone or do I want to wait and give it to someone who will love me, who would treat me right and all that stuff like that. So I thought about it and I decided to wait and, and 
give my virginity to somebody else, to somebody who I meet and love and probably marry. So I'm waiting. Um, you don't have to, of course. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I recommend you sit down and actually think about it before you just up and have sex. Um, a lot of people they don't and they end up getting pregnant because they weren't they were they were using protection but the, t the protection broke so they end up getting pregnant or like you have to deal there's like with having sex it puts a lot of pressure on the relationship I realized like my friend one of my friends I can't remember which friend it was but one of my friends was with this guy and they had sex and like right after they had sex things changed in the relationship and it got more complicated it became more complex and stuff like that and it became hard to be in that relationship and after she broke up with him she ended up regretting giving herself to that guy and like it's kind of complicated like to explain but I feel like sex makes things a little more complicated in a relationship I'm not saying it's a bad thing but like I was dating of course that guy named Alan and he only wanted one thing which was sex that's all he wanted he was he wanted just plain old sex and if I'm like if I don't want to have sex and he wants to have sex and I feel bad because I'm like, oh, I don't want to have sex, but he wants to have sex. And I was just like, it was very conflicting because I'm like, oh, I want to make him happy. I want to give him everything. I want to just like make him very, very happy. And of course he wanted sex and I didn't want to have sex. And I'm like, ah, and of course I end up breaking up with him because that's all he wanted was sex. That's all... Like, when we were at his house, it was like, that's all he wanted. It was just, like, plain old sex. I'm, I'm like, I just want to play video games. I want to snuggle. I want to kiss once in a while. I don't want to be sitting there and have to do all this sex stuff with you. You know, it's just like... So I'm like, finally, I... I when I when I was dating him the first time, I'm like, okay, maybe it'll, like, it's a phase or something. It'll pass, and he'll get over it. He never did. And so I'm like, okay... So, and then I dated this other guy, and he asked me, why did you and your boyfriend broke up? Why did you and your boyfriend break up, your ex-boyfriend? And I'm like, and we're, this is a new relationship, so I thought, hey, I should tell him exactly why we broke up. So, just so, like, it won't happen again. I thought maybe if I told him and he understood, then maybe, like, he'll know that, hey, I'm waiting I don't want to have sex right off the bat. I want to wait. And so I told him the exact reason. And he proceeded to want to do that stuff. And I'm like, I told you. The reason why I broke up with my ex-boyfriend is because all he wanted was sex. And then you turn around and do the same thing. Are you kidding me? So we ended up breaking up. Which I actually sticked with him. Stayed with him. Even though he was doing the same thing my ex was doing for a while. Because I thought, okay write it out maybe because I really liked him I really really liked him and, but this pretty much is just I don't know like a lot of people ask me hey have you ever been sexual stuff or have you are you a virgin or whatever you know and I I am open to that kind of stuff I tell people straight up if they ask me have you had sex no I have not I have done sexual stuff before I've done sexual stuff. I'm, I'm not going to go over the things I've done. But yeah, I have done sexual stuff, but not sex stuff. I have sex. And it's, it's up to you, but if I was you, I would think about it. Before jumping in and having sex, think about it. Is it going to make the relationship complicated? Or uh, is this guy or girl that I'm with worth giving my virginity to um like i i think you, people nowadays need to stop think 
before they do because a lot of people just jump right into sex and they're like, eh, it's just a thing that everyone does. Yeah, it is something that everyone does, but like, be different from everyone else. Just be like, oh yeah, this person's having sex, this person's having sex, so I have to have sex too, and just jump into bed with someone. No, just don't be like other people. Like, I don't, like, I, I, I don't know, like, I don't, that's why I try to, like, when I see things, like, going on, like, people jumping in, having sex, having babies, ha- at a young age, at, like, 18, like, my mom was afraid that I or my sister were gonna be one of those teen pregnancy, um, children, but we're smart, <laughs> we, my sister not so much, she, <clears throat> she already, I know for a fact my sister already had sex. Why I know that is because, uh, one day I walked in to her room and there was a bowl of condoms. And I'm like, okay. And then the other reason why I know this is because, yeah, a bowl of condoms, it's normal for people to have bowl, like, not a bowl of condoms, but like some condoms or something like that, you know? But the other reason why I know my sister had sex is because my mom... I was sitting there, and she's like, oh, Tom, uh, she was dating this guy, Tom, uh, at the time, she's like, oh, Tom and Janelle had sex last night, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to know this about my freaking baby sister, I'm like, ugh, I'm like, no, no thank you, I'm like, stop talking, please, I don't want to listen, and I'm like, congratulations, anyway, so, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You can do do whatever you want. You can give your virginity to whoever you want. Um, but make sure it's the right person. Just don't give it out willy nilly, cause you will regret it. Some people they have sex with a person and they don't regret it. Like they like they have sex and thinking that they're the one, and then they break up, and then some people go regret having sex with that person while they're in that relationship. But some people, they'll have sex with that person, break up with them, and not feel regret at all. And I, I'm like a person that doesn't like regret. I don't like um, doing something and then regretting it. Because you're going to regret that for the rest of your life. I dated this guy named Alan, and of course I regret it, and I'm regretting it for the rest of my life. I'll probably regret it for a long time. Or maybe I'll forget about it eventually when I meet the right person. But right now, um, I regret it. Like, sometimes things will pop up, or, um, like a picture will pop up of me and him, and I'm like, oh no, please stop. It's one thing I regret. But I don't have that many regrets. I think that's the only one that I regret. Like, that's, like... Not just relationship regrets, more like everything else I've done in my life. I I don't regret anything but that so far. And I'm hoping to like keep going and not re- have any other regrets. So that's one reason why I'm holding on to my virginity is because I'm waiting for that one person because I don't want to give it away and then feel regret later for giving it to this one person and finding someone that I'm totally in love with and probably will marry and then feel regret I gave my virginity to some other guy. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the end of this video of my night owls. Uh, I know it was kind of probably a little weird and I'm sorry, but I'll see all you night owls tomorrow. Goodbye.